This is Travis um, from Travis Teaches Guitar and uh, today what I wanted to go over was some of the differences between an acoustic and an electric guitar or even a nylon string guitar because <clears throat> you've heard me talk about that before so I'd like to go a little bit more in depth about that. This is a standard steel string guitar, six steel strings. And it's an acoustic guitar, given by the hole. It doesn't take electricity. This particular one, you can plug into an amplifier, but it, you don't need to, it, obviously. I have nothing here, this is just... It's quite loud, you can sing with it, you can, you know, you don't need anything. You can go out and find these, especially these days, you can go out $100 and not find this one necessarily unless you're incredibly lucky but you'll you can find a good sounding guitar of another make or there's a lot of people that make guitars and they they get rid of them pretty cheap you can even maybe go to a pawn shop which is where I got a couple of my first guitars go to a pawn shop find one for forty fifty dollars might not be the best guitar in the world but it, it definitely gets you started so it's better that you start playing so as I said before in one of my videos that it's better to learn on one of these. That's my personal opinion because I've been around a lot of guitar players and some of them play strictly electric, you know, because their, uh, I guess their desire going forward is to be in rock music or something like that. And their guitar heroes all have electric guitars. So they will only touch a, an acoustic guitar in, you know, when they have no other choice. Problem is with that that usually when they do get a hold of an acoustic guitar, their playing isn't as solid because the the main difference between the electric and the acoustic is the strings. Is that these strings are they're a little bit bigger on average, uh, depending on the gauge whether you get a light or medium or really heavy gauge on your string. This is these are like a a medium, but they're a strong medium, if that makes any sense there. They're getting close to the heavy range, but they last a lot longer and the, they're coated. They keep my tone very nice and I like them, so I'll suffer through a little bit more finger pain. You know, it's not a lot of finger pain, but a little bit more just so I can, you know, I'll have to be changing strings every couple weeks, whatever, but more on that later. The difference of the playing is that with an acoustic, like I said, you just have this hole right here. Everything you do on here, they say you'll hear guitar players talking about the wood doesn't lie, and this is what they're talking about, is that you're not, there's no effects if you're just playing a straight acoustic to uh, not mislead, but to enhance anything. The sound of your guitar is the sound of the, your guitar. If you're a, a singer, and you're singing with the guitar, the sound of your voice is the sound of your voice. There's no effect to it. And your guitar is the same way. So any uh, misstep in technique or anything is going to be amplified, per se, with the acoustic guitar. Because any chord rattling, if you don't have things clean, you can really tell on an acoustic. On an electric, you can get away with playing bar chords kind of sloppy. I don't recommend that, but you can get away with it because mm -hmm. it's hooked into an amplifier and generally they're hooked into other electronics before they get to the amplifier. So there's a lot of effects that will hide little flaws in your technique. So if you don't get a hold of that, then when you try to play an acoustic and you're still, you have that stuff ingrained in your fingers that that style of not so tight technique, it's, it will show on, on an acoustic guitar. However, if you play an acoustic guitar, and that's how you practice, when you then pick up an electric, you will find, whoa, where did some of this stuff come from? Because my fingers are doing things they didn't do before. So, you know, you'll be a little bit quicker. The strings are lighter on electric you can bend them, you know, when you get into the, into that stage. You can make that thing sing if you play an acoustic primarily and then go to an electric and then have your fun there. 
you can bounce back and forth between them. But if you when you're practicing, I even don't practice on this one so much. I have another guitar that I practice on that is an electric acoustic, but it doesn't have this hole, so it's very quiet. But the strings are tighter, so when I get to this one, it then becomes a little bit easier. On so that's how I practice. So then when I actually want to play, you know, nice pretty music, when I get on this one, it becomes a little easier. So. The other difference when you have acoustic versus electric is going to be the price for sure. You could pick up an electric by itself and the acoustic for probably right around the same price. It just depends on how you shopped and I recommend shopping around for your guitars but depending on how much you shop around. With an electric you are at the very least going to need an amplifier which is going to cost you probably just as much you know, maybe if not more than the guitar itself. So you're basically buying, you're putting out for two guitars when you, if you just buy the acoustic, you're ready to go. You don't need electricity, you don't need anything. You put this thing in your case, take it to your campfire, you take it fishing with you, you take it wherever you want to, the guitar is there. There's no, the, you just take it out of your case and you can play it. There's no hooking cables into it, which is another expense of if you have an amplifier, you have to have cables that run to the amplifier. So there's another, you know, fifteen to forty, fifty dollars, you know, however much you want to spend on cables, you know. And then if you're watching enough YouTube videos, people are going to talk you into getting all kinds of effects and everything else, and you're gonna they're gonna burn you for a hundred dollars every time you get another pedal, or if you get one, it's all in one. So you're gonna be spending a lot more money at the start, which you really don't need to. If your technique is solid. You're going to be a good player. You don't need all the fancy stuff right away. The first thing you need to learn is how to play and how, how to practice correctly and how to play and how to sound good with nothing. If you sound good with no effects, you, you'll sound good with effects. You'll sound amazing when you put effects to it. Other, the other way around, not, not so. You sound great with effects, pick up something that doesn't have any effects, and all of a sudden you don't sound so good. So... To me, that's a problem, but that is a personal choice. But if you just want to get playing, get an acoustic, get one like this. You can get one with nylon strings, but those are generally classical guitars. The neck on those is wider than your traditional steel string acoustic guitar. It's a little bit wider. So you get, get away with certain things on there, like wrapping your thumb around the neck or stuff like this. It's a taboo for classical players, but the strings are made of nylon and they don't hurt so bad. So you can play a lot longer. And then again, there's a level of difficulty with the nylon strings because the neck is wider, the strings are further apart. So when you get to something like this, suddenly you're able to play a little bit easier. So if you can't find a steel string, pick up a, a, a nylon string. If you want to play with your fingers, if you want to strum it, Forget the nylon string, because they don't sound very good when you're strumming them like this. Okay, that's it for the differences between acoustic and electric. And I am Travis Teaches Guitar, and join me next time. Until then, keep practicing.